This is what happens when you have a dog and you need to poop. He just sits outside the door and barks the whole time, so you let him in and then he won't leave. Get out! Yeah, go! Go! Remy! your girl Jay and today I'm here with another reading vlog. This is gonna be like a weekend reading vlog but I'm starting it today which is a Thursday just because I'm going to my boyfriend Will's for Friday and Saturday which means I'm probably not gonna film very much other than like his puppy because oh my god guys this puppy is like my life. I love him so much. His name is Remy and I am literally obsessed with him and all I do when I go there is play with him. So I'm sure Will is very annoyed at this point because I literally just go so that I can cuddle a puppy but I figured you know why not do a vlog this weekend I have like nothing going on other than like a little bit of schoolwork which I can't even really start until Sunday because I'm caught up on all of our like projects that have been released so far and then our modules which is like the information we have to go through before class isn't open until Sunday so I literally can't do anything I can read my two textbooks which I have here which are so boring but I have two chapters to read at some point today which I don't want to do right now so I'm not gonna do basically in university they like shove everything at you at once and they're like lol have fun maggots and then college is like mm you guys aren't smart enough to uh, do everything at once so we have to open things weekly so that you don't get overwhelmed because this is a lot and it's like bitch it's not a lot it's literally just reading a couple articles doing a couple powerpoints doing a couple projects just give me it all so I can just get it all fucking done because I hate having to wait an entire week to get things done like if it was up to me I would be done all the work and just be doing projects when they're released but whatever you guys don't care about that though so i'm gonna talk about what i'm reading right now currently i'm reading killing november i don't even know who it's by adriana mather i'm on like page 66 or something like that so, which is like six chapters in but it's actually not too bad right now it's about this girl named november who gets shipped to like this super secret academy in the woods that nobody knows where it's located and it's basically for families of like assassins and spies and things like that and everybody is very like cryptic and won't tell her what's going on she has no idea why she's even there she was like drugged on the plane and then she woke up in this academy right now it's just her trying to like figure out what the heck is going on and why she was sent there her dad was in the CIA so I'm assuming that he went to that school too they apparently have some family drama going on right now and he told her that she would only be going to this place for like two weeks but now she's finding out that it's probably going to be like forever because nobody goes home on the holidays which she thought she was going to be able to do so far it's all right but that's what we're working on today i also want to film but i don't really know what to film i do have like a couple of books that i could haul so that i could put them away because my area is a little bit messy so that's what i'm gonna go do i'm gonna go clean my room read my chapters for school and then read this book maybe film a video if I can think of something other than a haul to film because I really do need a video that's not a haul because that's all I film these days. Why are you vlogging this week? Because I don't have a video to put up so I figured I would vlog and plus Will wants to vlog so why does he want to vlog? I don't know he said last weekend you never vlog anymore so I was like fine I'll vlog next week so here we are. So it's all gonna be puppies? Yes. <laughs> I have no idea what it is. Mm. <laughs> Oh, look at mommy and daddy when they were young and in love and my grandparents. <laughs> I need scissors. I cannot do this. Ugh. Because my shoulder hurts. My shoulder hurts. It's called the Crimson Vial. Four women found dead in the woods. Crimson smile drawn on their face. A special agent is sent in and morta mortally, mortally, mortally <laughs> wounded. His partner follows undercover as a journalist. A Native American town is in, enveloped by an annular eclipse and an ancient myth. Oh, no, I do know what this is. This author? 
This is not the same person that sent this to no, you. No, no, no. The author is apparently a fan of my channel. Oh, yeah? And so he asked his agent to reach out to me and get me a book, like a copy of his book. And it's signed. Woo! I remember this email now. That's cool. This is really small writing. <laughs> Can't wait. Look. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, if you like it, I'll read it. Okay. Okay? Go. Thanks, Herschel. I finished my one chapter of my textbook and then I just really don't want to do my other one right now, so I'm not going to. I filmed a video which was like some of my favorite retellings, so, so I have to edit that and I don't know when it's gonna go up because I have a couple of videos that I have to put up, like my June TBR needs to go up and then I have like a haul video where I have to talk about two books from publishers, so that needs to go up and then and this one obviously so that video probably won't be up until like next week but reading update it's now almost five o'clock i am now 146 pages in to killing november i like how you can't really trust anybody in this book like you have no idea who is good who is bad who november should be hanging out with but November has like a serious case of I'm a snowflake and nobody's like me and it's like kind of annoying because she is just so naive and so trusting of everybody. A student just got murdered and pretty much everybody's trying to like pin it on her. So I just feel like maybe she should pick who she's trusting better, but I'm going to continue reading this until dinner time, which is usually around 6.30. No idea. It's a Friday and last night I didn't update because whenever the sun goes down the lighting gets really really bad obviously and I am far too lazy to adjust the lighting in editing so I decided to just wait until the next day to update you guys but I finished Killing November and I gave it a 3.5. I was going to give it a 3 but then a thing that I did not see coming at all happened and I really liked it so I bumped it up to a 3.5. The main character November was kind of annoying honestly. The amount of times that this bitch got knocked out, I don't understand how she does not have a concussion and how she is still like able to walk in a straight line because it was like every other chapter she was knocked out some way so I don't know but overall like it was it was fun so 3.5 out of 5 stars and then I also started a new book and I got pretty far pretty much halfway through I'm on page 198 and it is Where the Rhythm Takes You by Sarah Das so this follows a girl named Raina and she works at a hotel her family's hotel and her mother passed away and her childhood best friend Aiden left to go to start his music career they live in Tobago and her her father is like putting all of the responsibility on to her to run this family business but she hasn't seen Aiden for a very long time and then he shows up at the hotel as a VIP guest with all of his like famous friends so it's like the story of that it's a persuasion by Jane Austen retelling and like I said I'm more than halfway through and I'm actually enjoying it quite a bit a lot more than I thought I was going to the one complaint I have about this book is that it's a lot of like miscommunication trope because you can tell that Raina and Aiden still have feelings for each other but they like refuse to talk about it and anytime Aiden tries to bring it up Raina just like shuts him down and runs away so it's kind of annoying on that front but other than that it's a good time so I'm enjoying it I'm gonna keep reading this Will is coming to pick me up sometime in the afternoon it's 9 50 a.m. right now and I've been reading for like an hour and a half already because I woke up at like 7 30 because I always wake up way too early none of my modules for school are up so it's not like I can do any work I could technically do a chapter reading of my school work but I don't want to do that I'm going to try to finish this before Will comes he usually comes around like two or three and then I get to go see puppies so there will be a lot of puppy footage very shortly and I am very excited about it because my little baby Remy is just so cute you have to you have to give it to me yeah there you go ready go <laughs> this is my Remy my Remy boo Roscoe's outside right now but I'm in love with him he's so little I think he's 20 or 21 weeks old he's a golden doodle and he is my heart and soul you can get it 
He's very good at fetch, not very good at give it back so I can throw it again. But that's okay, we're learning. You gotta drop it. Ready? <laughs> Good boy. Ready? <laughs> Come here. Give, give me. Give me. Drop it. Ready? <laughs> Remy. <laughs> oh, you're so cute, dude. He said, nope, straight to J. No! <laughs> Left hand throw, go. <laughs> Such a doofus. Ow, gentle. Oh, Remy, you're supposed to stay over there. Remy, come here. You're, you're supposed to be over there, sir. He's so good. Roscoe, stay. Stay. She's so good. Oh, Remy goes. Oh, hi. Come on in. I don't want to be awake right now. <laughs> But you wanted to see the baby. It's like 10 o'clock right now. Yes. And the baby. Actually, it's half past 10. Whatever, 10.25. The baby, Remy, wouldn't stop barking. Uh, <laughs> Shut the... Mm, I love him, but... And we were up really late, so usually I'll be up at like 8 o'clock and go pet him. Not today. But I was tired, so I stayed in bed. And he just kept barking. And so I finally, I was like, all right, I'll get Why up. did you become a lady of the South? Uh, right now. <laughs> so I finally was like, okay, fine, I'll get up. And then he wasn't even there. He was out walking with grandma. So so we're going to the liquor store. I'm not an alcoholic, but... Why would one trip to the liquor store make Because it's 10.30 in the morning. Post Malone's Rosé came out, and we're going to go cop us some two bottles. I just want coffee. <laughs> and then we're going to Timmy's and get breakfast. That's so all I want. All I want is coffee. Then I'm going to play with the dog some more. Yeah. The baby doesn't pay any attention to me. <laughs> wow, puberty. We got our food. Yes. We got our other food. Yes. And we got the baby. Oh, we should have filmed when we came in. <laughs> Inside. Oh, that would have been so. We'll do it next time. <laughs> next time you'll hear him whine and shake his whole body and go. Wah! But only if I come in. Oh, hello, sir. But he only does it when I come in, and it's funny. Because Will gets jealous. Yes. Your dog likes me better than you. No. <laughs> this is Roscoe getting his screen time every day. Or if we're just sitting on the couch and we're watching a video, he'll walk up to us and be like, I want to see. And if he doesn't like the video, he hits it with his nose to turn it off. Oftentimes. <laughs> oh, is that one a good one? And then Remy's supposed to be sleeping, but he just keeps bringing me toys to play with because I'm not playing with him. Hello, dear. You can't vlog and try. I can do what I want. No, you can't. Ah, see, that's how I got you to just vlog. I don't want to vlog. Now look at what you're I'm doing. I'm tired. Well, we're going to the store because I need some little psh, psh, flavor stuff to put in my water because regular water tastes gross. And then we're probably going to go home and uh, play with the puppy again. The baby! He peed all over the floor. Cause... Yeah, I asked him. I said, do you need to go out and pee? Because usually like he'll... He'll look up with the you know the ears and the face that dogs give when they're like yeah okay he was mad he picked up his ball walked down the stairs and proceeded to stand outside the bathroom door i and was showering and yeah, he didn't like and, it and he pissed <laughs> even though i had asked him literally 20 seconds before do you need to go pee and he looked him dead in the eye and, and he said "Fuck no nope, and then he peed right there and i was pissed <laughs> he went separate me from my girl again bitch clean up my pee pretty much <laughs> fucking asshole <laughs> so that's the plan if Jay wants, you know, we'll probably keep you updated. Probably not. 
because she sucks at vlogging. But anyways. I'm tired. That's not an excuse for your fans. I don't have fans. Then what do you have? Posses? I have friends. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Just kidding. Bye. 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 What are you getting? Gummy bears. How oh, excited no. are you? <laughs> I decided to steal Jay's phone and I did a shirt this past week for my high-low apparel I took a black shirt removed the color using writ color removal and then I dye over the spot where I Removed the color and just thought I'd share the result with you guys Check that out. I've tried many times without success and now I finally did it. I just got cool mail. Okay, so a company called New Yes reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try their erasable smart notebook and I just got it in the mail today and I am just so intrigued by this because like an erasable notebook, hello, it sounds cool, but this is the package that it came in and it says that it is a notebook that can be reused forever. So one way is to use a hair dryer to erase the ink and it says when your notebook is filled you can simply blow the notebook with a hair dryer to turn all of your notes clear in just a few minutes or you can use the tip of the pen to erase and then they also said that you could take like a damp washcloth and scrub it off so i am very intrigued the little like blurb thing says this smart notebook is an environmental friendly product our special paper can be used 500 times so one smart notebook can save three trees so i figured that we're gonna go on this adventure together and see if this is actually a thing that works because i like i said am very intrigued <laughs> so it comes in this package i'm mostly into the hair dryer part of it i think that's so cool like if you're gonna erase your notes with a hair dryer, like I mean, you're not gonna bring a hair dryer to like class or something, but still an interesting concept. Okay, so it comes with a little manual that explains how the notebook works. It talks about how you have to use these pens. They are the Pilot Friction pens in 0.7 millimeters. And they also said that you could use the new Yes erasable pens. So I'm not sure if these are the new Yes ones or the Friction ones. It also came with some little tabs, which I know a lot of you use to annotate your books. And it also came with a little cloth. Use this cloth, wet it a little bit, and then you can rub it off, which I'm assuming is like the same idea as using the tip of the pen, like friction, I guess. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It just says smart notebook in the corner. You open it up. It's got a space for like your name, contact information in case you lose it. It's got like a yearly spread kind of thing. Place where you can talk about your top six goals for the year. Things to look forward to, new things to try, books I would like to read. That's really good for us booktubers. Places to visit, things to improve upon, things to be grateful for. And then if you flip the page, there's a task for today tasks of the future so i guess short-term long-term goals kind of situation there then you got a weekly schedule so if you like you're in school that's good you can write your schedule classes important dates for the whole year that's good for like birthdays holidays and then it's got some lined paper there's a chunk with just dotted paper but I want to see how this thing actually works, so we are going to try it out and see if it works and then we're going to try to erase it because I am curious. Okay, so this is like a really weird angle, but I don't really know how to do it any other way because I am not a fancy booktuber and I don't understand these things. But let's fill something out to see if it works. Let's go with an easy one and let's say the poppy war because that is on my TBR right now it says in the little manual it came in that we need to wait 15 seconds for it to dry so we're gonna do that i will say that like the texture of this paper is really interesting it's like a glossy finish which i would not expect like it's almost like a butter feel to it okay it's been 15 seconds let us erase <gasps> Ooh, ooh, guys that works okay so the pen is a go that works and then we're going to rewrite the poppy war and then we're going to head out to my bathroom to do the hair dryer method and see if that works i am actually so intrigued by this i figured that the pen would work because i have used those pens before and they work on like regular paper got the hair dryer we gotta plug it in to our wall outlet plugged in 
All right, are we ready for this? So there it is. It's kind of already rubbed off. I didn't do a very good job writing, but we're gonna see if this works. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so that's after like 30 seconds. So I mean, it did take off this beginning part, but I'm gonna keep trying to get this part off and see if it works because I mean, it does work, but I don't really wanna sit here for 10 minutes trying to get this off, you know what I mean? Okay, that's another like, 30 seconds and it, it has come off a little bit more but I would still say that nobody got time to sit here for 10 minutes and take that off when you can literally just use the pen cap of it so I mean yes it works but I just think that that takes way too much time and effort so I'm just gonna go use the pen cap to get this off and then we'll rewrite it one more time and try the water R water on our cloth to see if it works better. Do not mind my very messy camera. That's my brother's side. This is my side. Who's worse? Probably me. This is mother trying it. Oh, that's... Ah, excuse me, it's not your book. <laughs> Erase it. Here, have a cloth. Is it wet? Yes, only the corner. And then just... Oh, that is cool. See, like, it erases really well. And, and it, look, it doesn't stain the cloth. <gasps> doesn't stain the cloth. Can you just wash the cloth? Does it say I would assume so. It doesn't say anything about it's, it. It feels almost like... Um, it's like a glass like an cleaner. Eye, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. But it is cool. I, I like the concept. Yeah. Okay, so verdict. I would just use the pen cap because, I mean, like, it's right there. Do I really want to go get a cloth and wet it with water just to erase something when I literally have the pen cap? No. But... Water does work, but the hair dryer takes way too long. Like it's cool, but also I'm not gonna stand there for 10 minutes. Use the pen, use the cloth, forget the hair dryer. I do think it's a really cool concept and I do think that it's great for the environment. So I'll definitely be using this. I'll probably end up using the cloth or the pen cap the most. I think that the cloth works the best. It comes off so easily, so quickly with the water. I also don't think I'm gonna carry this around with me everywhere I go. I guess you could have it like tucked in the notebook though. But the cool thing about this book is that before you erase your notes, there's an app called Cam Scanner or New Yes Note that you can like scan your notes on and then upload it to your computer so you have scanned copies of your notes. So that's a really cool concept. I like that because then the whole erasable thing really then you comes just in start handy. For your next class. Yeah. Then cool. you just have like this notebook that you just continuously fill and empty. Please avoid exposing your notes to moisture. So don't go in the swimming pool with it because then you'll have don't no notes. Don't go in the shower. Yeah. Don't. Uh, you also can't go in hot temperatures yes. with the notebook. Huck. But yeah. So very thank cool. you to New Yes. I'm very, very cool. excited. Mama Gaunt would like one of those. You can have this one. I'll give it to you for your birthday. No, now I already know what it is. You'll forget it's in December. <laughs>